Hello and welcome to this video where we will be taking a look at the new snapshot 18w47b for Minecraft 1.14. Welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the new snapshots for Minecraft and taking a look at what they contain. Let's get started. Alright, so the first things that we're going to be taking a look at are texture updates, which seems to be the most things done in this update. So if we take a look over here, starting with the logs, we could see from the previous snapshot that the texture of the log have been changed, the top texture, that is, not the side, but the top texture have been updated on the normal logs and also the stripped logs. Now I have to admit, I don't seem to see a difference from the previous texture and this texture right here, but that might just be me. If we take some jungle wood, for example, and place that down, yeah, that kind of looks like the old texture, but it might just be me. I'll probably do an image comparison as well. But there you go, the top textures have been updated. I might put a image somewhere comparing the new ones with the old ones. But the next thing that has gotten a texture update as well is the spruce door. Both the spruce door and the spruce door or trap door has gotten a texture update. And I quite like this one, actually, the different wooden planks in the door is actually kind of visible. It was that before as well, but it's it was more neutral, but now it stands out more. And yeah, in general, I like it. I quite like it. Also, the trapdoor, of course, looks pretty good as well, though. Yeah. In my opinion, it would have made sense that it went that way, opened in that direction, as the nails are pointing in that direction. I just feel like it should open in that direction, but it doesn't. But it's a eh thing. It's it's fine, but in my opinion, it should have went that way. But yeah, that has gotten an update or updated textures too. All right, the command blocks have gotten some updated textures as well, or that should be the command block and the repeating command block. And I think what most is most different is probably the border around this like metal chip thing that is on it. Though I'm a little bit uncertain as I'm not used to walking around with command blocks and I'm not too sure what they looked like before. Um, only a little bit and I do I do see a difference, but I'll definitely probably put a image showing the new ones and the old ones so you can see it better, but they have gotten a texture update as well. And now the card and the raw, oh sorry, the raw card and the cooked card has gotten texture updates as well. Now these I actually can notice. But if I put in a picture to picture comparison with the new ones and the old ones, it is probably very easy to see what the difference is. But right now, I think they look the same, but I'm not sure. Also, the one of, one of the cat's textures have been changed. The tuxedo cat texture has been changed. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try and show that because getting a cat is just a total nightmare. So, um, yeah, I'll just give you the info. You you can you can have the fun and interest of discovering it yourself in your world. I'm I'm just here to give you the news. It, it, if I were to spawn a thousand cats just to see that one of them is a tuxedo cat and try and tame it, that's a let's just say that's a mission for another day. And now something that is not texture related. Um, in the last snapshot, we saw that pillagers now have their own outpost that can be found in the world. And apparently they re reduce the cluster size of pillagers spawning. So pillager outposts are no longer flooded by pillagers, which is actually pretty good in my last video. I think, what was it, 10 or more pillagers at that outpost? That was a lot, a lot. But in my opinion, it is fine like that because I like the challenge but I guess it might have been a little too much. So they shrunk down the size of or the amount of pillager spawning. So I guess that's good, especially for performance. 
also in general they adjusted the mob spawning behavior to be closer to 1.13.2. And then we have numerous world generation performance improvements, which is of course always welcome. Now, a thing I forgot to mention actually is the barrel. It has not gotten a texture update, but it says here on the wiki, facing equals south block state has been changed. I am not sure what that means, to be honest. But one thing I do notice is that it has like a bottom of it and then it has a top of the barrel. And I'm guessing maybe because that's south, maybe that's south right, right there. Um, maybe before it couldn't maybe face in that direction or that hole right there or whatever it is faced the wrong way or something. I'm not sure, but it's a thing that I should tell you since this is a snapshot update. I'm not sure what it means. But anyways, the block state facing slash, sorry, equals north south uh, has been updated or changed. Anyways, that'll be it for this snapshot. Very short and very quick, mainly texture updates, but also some improvements and fixes here and there. So that is always good. I hope you enjoyed and if you did remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends and if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe and uh, yeah, the support is greatly appreciated so I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Remember to leave suggestions for things I could do better in the comments below. But anyways, hope you enjoyed and have a nice day. Bye bye.